guys, it's Kathy's Tuesday's Tips and Tricks. This week is going to be a really short one and, uh, and just kind of a fun one, but it's kind of helpful. In our store, we sell RNA thread, and I see people trying to peel the, find the perforated and trying to take this off, but there's a really simple, easy way to get your thread open. All you have to do is twist it and it comes right off. It's so easy, I'll do it again. Twist it and it comes right off. Now the other thing about the RNA, so here's tip number two. We're gonna give you three tips today. The tip number two is the little bottom. See how it pops down? It does that so that your thread doesn't come unrolled. So you, when you're through, you roll your thread up, slide it in the end, snap it closed, then you don't have strings all over the place. All right, last but not least for the week is your regular sewing thread. When you put it, it comes with these little covers or these little uh, labels on the end. And when you put them on your sewing machine, then the sticky gets all over your sewing machine before you know it, your spool pin's all dirty and nasty. Um, so one of the guys in the back of our store showed me a quick and easy way to fix that. You take your pin and you push it into the middle and you twist it just a little bit. And when you do, it makes it stick to the inside of your spool. I'm going to do it on both sides. So now, when I put it on my, my sewing machine, it won't get any of that sticky residue on my sewing machine, and it stays nice and clean and unsticky. So, try some of my tips on Tuesday, and we'll see you next week.